Guardians Part 14. Now the contractor is gone. What's gonna be the new hotspot for entertainment? I really hope this isn't a bomb. Seriously? <laughs> You're so gullible, Quill. It ain't gonna blow. I mean, its core is definitely volatile as scut, and could melt a hole through the floor if an idiot decided to take it apart. But it's practically harmless. Just needs some extra repulsion coils to manage the flaw in the photonic phase capacitor. But will it damage the ship? Eh, probably not. You really go bananas for this stuff, don't you? What the flark is a banana? <laughs> it's this yellow fruit on Earth that looks like a... Never mind. The point is, you're clearly obsessed with this stuff. Hey, I ain't obsessed. Tech just makes sense, okay? There's order to it. Makes me feel calm. That and it doesn't rip you off like some filthy biologicals I've known. <laughs> you got grifted. Laugh it up, star pants. <clears throat> I mean, that's terrible. Who was it? A chick. Really? I didn't even know you liked girls. She wasn't just any girl. She was a chick. One of them Voldai. Bird people. Mm-hmm. She, uh, she sounds super special. Her name was Tella. And she wasn't just special. She made me feel special. Like I wasn't some freak show science experiment. She bought me a drink. She didn't even flinch at my implants. I just escaped Half-World and I fell for her. Hard. You've all been there, buddy. Half the girls I've dated have tried to kill me. You should see the scars. Except I didn't know no better. I thought Tella was my friend. And then one day, she convinces me to hack a ship for her. You know, kid stuff. Wasn't even nothing in it for me. I just wanted to impress her. <laughs> yep. Definitely been there. Reminds me of this one time with Vralnexian. We, uh... You mind? Anyways, I hacked the ship, all right. I hacked it to scut. The next thing I know, I'm surrounded by a bunch of Badoon thugs. Turns out they own the ship. While they focused on me, she took off in the ship that I hacked for her. She left me there, Quill. Like I was trash. <sighs> That's the day I learned to think twice before trusting biologicals. They're not all like Ruth. It'd be like that. How are you not obsessed with tech? Look at this place. Your room is... Wow, I mean... Wow. What's wrong with my room? You don't even have a bed. I got a bed. It's buried under junk. I prefer to call it a soft shelf. I just don't know how any of this could make you feel calm. I feel stressed just looking at it, and that's coming from me. If Groot didn't do the laundry, I'd probably never have clean clothes. Like I said, tech makes sense. Why do you care so much? I don't know. Because you're such a perfectionist. I ain't a perfectionist. The lead scientist on Half-World, Rachman, he... Oh, he was a perfectionist. A horrible, free-bagging, scut and flark flarkin' son of a chog! What did he do to you? Oh, what any self-disrespecting scientist does, Started a super soldier program, <laughs> except instead of using one of their precious blue skins, they decided to experiment on us. Animals. Lesser life forms. But it wasn't enough that he ripped us apart and jammed us full of cybernetic implants. Oh no. He'd make us perform tasks over and over and over. Oh, like lab rats. And if we flarked up, if it wasn't exactly right, or up to his flarkin' standards, he'd shock us into unconsciousness. Holy crap. Rocket, I... It is what it is, Quill. Groot says fixing stuff is my way to make the memory of that stressed feeling go away. Make me feel in control again when I get overwhelmed. I don't know. He's probably right. Root really is the first one to treat you right, isn't he? He's my family. You're lucky to have found each other. 
Especially after... everything. And then some. I hope you'll see us as family one day, too. That's pretty fucking good. Don't lose it in front of the raccoon, man. Anybody in there? Drax? Are you okay? Open up! Peter Quill. Are you gonna join us in the cockpit? You had a lot of dog report items for Cosmo. Perhaps I will. I'll write them down. Drax. Apologies. I will surrender the lavatory. Wait. Was that my toothbrush? Anything yet? Guardian of Galaxies. Cosmo, buddy. Where have you been? We've been calling you. I'm sorry, Piotr Quill. Cosmo's ball has been tied. Universal Church of Truth arrive at nowhere. What? Are you okay? He's fine for a moment. Cosmo receive warning in time. But Continuum Cortex is a shutdown for safety. It's been dead, huh? Your little detective trip almost got us killed. We'll fill you in when we get there. Yet. This problem is bigger than Cosmo. Guardian of Galaxies must go to Xandar and ask World Mind for help instead. Cosmo unable to get through. Guardian of Galaxies must actually. Cosmo, are you there? What happened? Are we under attack? So these are the cowards who defile Lady Hellbender's honor. Oh, good. And who the flock are you? Normally, I would not engage in conversation with inferior life. But my contract with Lady Hellbender stipulates otherwise. Therefore, abomination. You may refer to me by my title. I am Captain Glory, leader of the Lethal Legion. <laughs> A lethal <laughs> legion? Uh, more like loser legion. <laughs> he surrounded us. Listen, I get that Lady Hellbender's super pissed, but now's really not the best time. Did you think that she would ease her bounty simply because you somehow managed to elude the Blood Brothers in nowhere? Yes. Then you were as imbecilic as they are. Lady Hellbender sends her regards, so-called Guardians of the Galaxy. Prepare to be eliminated. No, you prepare to be eliminated. <laughs> Smooth. Uh, we got this. Where's Drax the 
destroyer. My bounties are five as you. Never heard of them. Drop out and get a better angle to get the squad. That's no fun. Alright, this ship ship's kinda of far. on getting to Xandar. Punch it! Yep. Old girl needs a tune-up. We can do it once we reach the station. I ain't letting no bucket head near my... Wow. Talk about cosmic gridlock. I haven't seen this many ships around Xandar since the start of the Galactic War. Over to Channel Group. Let's see what's going on. These ships come from converted worlds. They're refugees. I need immediate docking permission. Please answer us. Groot, that's enough. I don't see any rescue shuttles coming out. They're ignoring them. No, 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 no. Nova Corps might be a bunch of self-righteous dome heads, but they're, they're supposed to be helping folk. That's their whole flark and deal. Relax, Rocket. We'll just call the station and ask to speak to the world mind. Groot. <sighs> Welcome to Novacore Headquarters. Please state your preferred language of communication. 
Right. I know, bud. But now we can all follow along with Star Pants' mistakes. How, How may we assist you? Your crippling indecision vexes me, Peter Quill. After, After scanning, scanning your ship, our near-perfect algorithms pre-selected several officer choices. The allocation of resources for direct communication with us has been denied. We apologize for the inconvenience. Well, it was worth a shot. Let's try something else. Just pick something, Peter. We should report what Raker is up to. We are aware of the current threat, but can devote no resources toward fighting it. Groot wants us to rep Congratulations on your decision to join the Corps. To, to begin, begin, state your full name, designation, designation or serial number. Richard Ryder. Quill's mom! This strategy is futile. Ah, uh, come on, muscle brain. It might work. Oh, please please you. Celestial body. <laughs> or artificial installation of origin. Someplace. <laughs> Earth. I continue to doubt this strategy. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it won't work. <laughs> Not but look today. at this scut. It's hilarious. Finally, in a few words, describe what made you want to join Nova Corps. Because I'm a sucker. Justice. Looks like the best AI in the world couldn't parse that. Good job, nope. boys. No touchy. All right, so that was fun, but a complete waste of time. Any other ideas? If you pick Creekwill, I'm gonna gnaw your ears off. What are you doing, Star Pants? I agree with the rodent. Your language choice makes no strategic sense. I am Groot. Groot says you should pick the top option. I am Groot. Groot says you should hurry up. A little help, Groot. I am Miss Reddit? Ugh, ignore Groot. Just pick things at random until it works, Quill. Only, Only one, one application per cycle is permitted, permitted and you, you cannot, cannot resume a cancelled application. I'm Groot. I'm Groot. I'm Groot. Paying the fine won't get us food. Stop thinking with your stomach. Okay, Groot. What are these choices? I am Groot. Big guy is done with translating stuff. Switch the language so we can all follow along, Quill. Why are we letting the Terran select the language? Nuh-uh, not letting you do that, Quill. I am Groot. Scroll down, scroll down. Hey, your cop girlfriend is still listed here. You should, uh... Rocket! Oh. Right, she's uh, dead. Scroll back up. I think I saw someone interesting. Does that say Nova Prime? Any idea which one? Who even cares? Nova Prime's identity is confidential, and communication with them is forbidden until further notice. Huh? Doesn't say which one. Why even list them then? Hey, Wolberry, got any ideas? Ugh, I hate bureaucracy. Peter, I think everyone here is too busy or dead to answer. Nova number 11249 44396 is out of our sensor range and unavailable for contact. Richard Ryder sounds Terran. You seriously don't know who he is? <laughs> We've yet to meet a Terran of any interest. It's fucking dick this Ryder. This menu again? Perhaps we should try another menu. We are sad to inform you that Denarian Carlos is currently missing and assumed dead. Hey, isn't this that Buckethead we killed on the rock? We definitely did not murder him and definitely did not admit it in front of a Nova Corps console rocket. Corbin Day is missing in action. And unable to respond. Heard of him. He was in the resistance. So much for near perfect algorithms, helpline.
Cadet neglect Gold's communication privileges are suspended while we investigate her involvement in unsanctioned cult activity. You should force your spawn to answer us. I can't do that. She's independent. Centurion Corel's personal communicator has either been destroyed or disabled and could not be reached. For what it's worth, I'm sorry, Quill. Me too. What do you mean the past crime button looks lonely? It's got two friends right there. We should tell them about the promise. Right, as if none of these other ships ain't already blasting about it all over the comms. Thank you for attempting to be an outstanding citizen. As all prisons are being evacuated, you may self-sequester wherever you wish. Do you think turning ourselves in would get their attention? Connecting to banking services. I can't believe that worked. Gardeners of the galaxy. Explain yourselves. Hey, world mind. Long time no see. It's me. Peter Quill, Star-Lord. And, uh, it's Guardians of the Galaxy. Check the addendum. We need your help. To pay a fine? No. No, of course not. You need to save the, the galaxy. galaxy. cannot be saved, Peter Quill. What? A mass, a mass delusion known as the promise. Is sweeping its systems, converting all who encounter it. In less than, than three cycles, it has spread from the crew of a single star frigate to multiple outposts. Worlds and systems. Shit. This is nine. Rigel three. Seventy-five point two 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 percent of the Andromeda galaxy, all lost. Of course, she don't mention Contraxia. They the real virus. The world minds collective consciousness. Look, we know who's behind the promise. We've seen it happening up close and personal. We're here to pass on information to you so you can stop it. How can we be more clear? The Universal Church of Truth cannot be stopped. Told you, they're a collective. It is a machine. Yeah, well, so are parts of me. And you better not call me it. Look, we just escaped the Church's mothership. We have a ton of intel you can use to bring them down. There is nothing you can tell us we do not already know. Pretty sure I know a few things that even a supercomputer can't know. Such as? Well... How to groom the feathers on a Shi'ar warbird, for starters. Are you still alive? Because I know how to groom the feathers. Yeah, well, I know where you can buy hack Nova Core helmets at ridiculously discounted prices. What? They obviously don't know about it, or they do something. The point is, we've lived things, experienced things. We've survived the promise, and maybe our experience can be used to help you bring them down. It is possible. We, we have, have overlooked, overlooked the value of individual experiential memories stored within our files. Good. So let's pull resources. However, given the ill-defined parameters of such a query, undertaking a search protocol at this time is advised. Now, if you will excuse us. The Universal Church of Truth's forces draw closer to this region of space. It is critical that we depart before they arrive. You're running away? What about the refugees? You're just gonna leave them defenseless? Our primary directive is the preservation of Xandarian culture. All else is secondary. <laughs> Have you seen what your planet looks like? Zendarian culture is a lost cause. Culture is more than a location. But you're Nova Corps' leader. You have a duty to protect this galaxy. That is incorrect. You ain't the leader of the Bucketheads. We do, we do not, not have a duty to protect this galaxy. galaxy. We, we merely police it to, to get advanced knowledge of potential threats. Serve and protect only yourselves. A logical byproduct of our primary directive. You have officers all over the galaxy laying down their lives for you. And you won't even risk fighting for their sake? The risk is too great. It would be a pointless sacrifice. For unknown reasons, the church is stockpiling resources. 
Its influence has grown beyond all probabilistic models. Then update your models. We can cannot adjust, adjust our computations to the enemy's nonsensical power source. You mean faith energy? Faith, as an energy source, is illogical. We are unable to compute scenarios to fight that which should not exist. So you're just gonna let the church win? If the power source cannot be quantified, it, it cannot be countered. Most sentient beings don't have the luxury of calculating their odds before getting into a fight. Don't you control the Nova Force? The magical energy that powers Nova Corps? It, it is not magical. But yes. Then how do you explain that one? Because to an outsider, it doesn't seem logical at all. Thanos used to say it was generated by the living computers of Xandar. The living computers of Xandar are, are the Nova Force. It exists because we exist. And we exist, therefore it does. Sounds like you're able to harness your collective energy just like Breaker with other people's faith. Maybe the way you do it can tell you how the church does. Perhaps. You, you have given us new data to consider. Guardians of the Galaxy, we will. Later. Right now, we need to focus on our departure. You're still leaving? We did we not make this decision without considering all available options. A complete search of our data banks only revealed a single entity with the potential to stop them. What is it? Not what. Who? Alan Warlock, the Church's original Golden God. Unfortunately, he perished in the last year of the Galactic War. Great. So, no one? We are, we are pleased you reached the same conclusion we did. It appears that our travel preparations are almost complete. Farewell, Guardians of the Galaxy. No, 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 wait! Classic Nova Corps. Ain't helped us then, you won't help us now. What? Are you kidding me? Groot says the Flarkin helpline's still asking for fine money. Let's get this over with. Confirm payment. Oh, what? Whole universe is about to end and you spend our cash on a Nova Corps fine. Look, dude, the church is about to come for all of us. Once that disabler goes off, we'll be sitting ducks. All right, at least we got that sorted. Let's get out of here. Peter, we've got movement. I'm Groot. They're taking off. God, it feels great to head that dead off of their backs. Well, well, I see it. <sighs> Son of a schmack. We gotta jump, Quill. I know. This promise is becoming real. Peter? Gotta get clear first. Come on. And go! The Loser Legion must have hit something when they ambushed us. Guys, it's only a matter of time before the galaxy accepts the promise. Sacrosanct is back there. We can't just sit here. Guys. And how are we going to do that? We're dead in the flock and water. And if they find us, we're screwed. Freely accepted. Oh, yeah. And without an engine, we're screwed. Guys, anyway. guys, guys, guys. Enough. Just stop already. I can't hear myself think. Rocket, fix the engines. How am I supposed to do that? I can't even run a diagnosis. I don't care! 
Just fix it! Scoff. And what are we supposed to do? I don't know, okay? I can't just conjure up answers every two seconds. Fine. Don't. I just... can't do this right now. some rest. Screw Noble Core. Shouldn't have counted on them in the first place. That fucking half phone slip shit is the worst. Drax, I, uh... I do not wish to talk. Fair enough. We're all pretty spent, just... Try to get some rest if you can. Look, it's our great leader. If you're about to throw another tantrum, do it quietly this time. Hey. Here to yell at me some more? What? No. I really don't feel like small talk. You forgot your toast. Hey, bro, did you ever find the pack of slacking plants I lost under your fern? My fruit. I don't know, a fern looking fern. Why would I check the leaf undersides? I swear. Hey, Groot. What's that stuff you're drinking? I am Groot. Please don't be the Kool-Aid. Looks like herbal tea, but uh not sure about the smell. <laughs> I am Groot. What kind of tea is that? I am Ah, good one. Uh, uh, maybe you can show me? I am good. Oh, God. Really? I cannot tell if that's cannibalism. Hmm. You know what? I think I'll pass on the leaf juice, but I'm glad to see you've got everything under control. At least one of us does. Speak for yourself. <sighs> Right in there. Look, we're all frustrated. We did what we could with the world mind, but they weren't even listening. It doesn't matter. They had their minds made up. They were being kind of scut. Mm-hmm. I mean, I did nothing wrong. I was just asking them to do their job. How about doing your job? My job? Have you seen the size of that church ship? What am I supposed to do? Guess you and the world might aren't so different. What? Maybe it's because I had a tyrant for a dad, but I'm used to people in charge not being afraid to get scut done. The heck? I am good. Oh, don't call me Rocky. I am good. I don't call you Groody. I am good. Everyone on this ship's been using this. 
Not today, brain parasites. Mora. Hey. Is that Corral's Galactic War commendation? Yeah. I rescued it from her office. I was planning to give it back to her until. No one could have predicted that Corral was dead. Or that Nikki would be the matriarch. Or that she might be my kid. That too. She's gonna have questions and I don't even know where to begin. How did you and Mom hook up? Why weren't you around? Did you even want me? Ugh, I've become my dad. Do you want to practice on me, answering her questions? I already told Nikki some of the story. But not all of it. What was I supposed to say? Hey, kid, I hooked up with your mom. I might be your dad. Maybe not that. I mean... It was war. I was with the Ravagers hitting Shatari supply chains. You know, pirate stuff. None of us had any long-term plans beyond survival. Especially not kids. Hell, I only met Corel because I heard Earth was in Shatari's crosshairs. Mercury, yeah, I remember. Richard Ryder established an outpost on the planet's surface. An undermanned, undergunned, and horribly outnumbered outpost that didn't stand a snowball's chance in hell when the Shatari launched a sneak attack. Obviously, I had to do something. Nikki would understand that, I think. It was so close, Gamora. By the time I convinced Yondu to help, the outpost had fallen. We thought we were too late, so when Corel and her squad came out of those caves, she was just so... badass. Her forces had been through the ringer, but she wasn't about to give up Mercury without a fight. That definitely sounds like the Corel I remember. I tried to convince Yanu to stay and help retake the outpost, but he saw no profit in dying, so I stayed instead. We spent hours strategizing together, often late into the night. It took three days to come up with a counterattack, and even then, it was risky. I thought we were gonna die. But you didn't. No, we didn't. And now... Now I have to figure out how to tell my estranged kid her mother's dead. Corel never told me about Nikki. She had a chance to tell me three years ago, and she didn't. What happened? You have to promise not to judge me too harshly. Can't promise that. I love judging people. <laughs> Fine. Corel maybe kind of caught me with a kidnapped 12-year-old girl. Yeah, I can see why Corel wouldn't have mentioned Nikki. <laughs> it's not like that. I didn't kidnap the kid, Yondu did. I told him it was wrong, that we had to give her back, and he... disagreed. So, I stole the Milano, and I was trying to return her when Corel just happened to intercept me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Look, after the Galactic War ended, <laughs> Corel and I went our separate ways. I rejoined the Ravagers, and she joined the Nova Corps. It's not like we had a future together. When she caught me with the kid, when I saw the disappointment in her face, I knew I had to turn over a new leaf. Even if it meant turning in Yondu. You're the reason Yondu's in the kiln? No wonder there's a bounty on your Earth name. He must have been pissed. Yep. But I'd do it all over again. What gets me is that Corel had plenty of chances to tell me about Nikki. And she didn't. If I had known, maybe... The important thing is that you know now. Yeah. Anyway, until we get Nikki back, we've got bigger fish to fry. This stuff can wait. True. But when you are ready to talk about it, just be honest with her. The rest will fall into place. Yeah. You're probably right. Really? How did you... 
Come on, girl. Shoot, shoot. And the bed smells. Great. Is this? How are you... me? Come on! The talking raccoon's waiting for you! Everybody is! Uh, Rocket, yeah, he was... fixing that thing that broke. Hey, if we're some kind of big space hero now, why are we running from the bad uh, guys? It's complicated. No, it's not! Stop running! And we've landed! Uh... <clears throat> Quill, give me a minute. You bet plenty of minutes. Root wanted to let you sleep. Can you believe it? Oh, how long was I out? Long enough to fly us all the way to the quarantine zone. Wait, how do we fly out here? Quill, do you want to fix your ship or not? My ship. Yes, your ship. Come on, the others are outside. Gamora scouted up a Shatari installation not too far from here. What's in the Shatari place? Looks promising for spare parts. There, let's go! Look who stumbled out of bed. The rodent made decisions in your sleep. Yeah, yeah, I know. Took you long enough? What? Nikki? You're not supposed to be here. You promised you would get me out of here. I know, but...
gotta be. Like the opening of the game. Correct, Peter Quill. Hovat and Camaria will be restored. Uh, yeah. Oh no. We just need to have faith. Oh no. <laughs> uh, Drax, you're kind of freaking me out, man. I had to share the good news, Peter Quill. You have lost your family. Your mother, the Cree woman. You understand the pain that comes from loss. Drax. With faith, with the Matriarch's promise, our families can be restored. I, I, Drax, I don't... You have accepted her promise, have you not, Peter Quill? Uh, not exactly. But, but not because I don't want to. It's just... I have questions. I understand. The Matriarch's promise is overwhelming. Overwhelming is a word for it. It also took me time to see the miracle of her promise. Yes, <laughs> yes, uh, time. <laughs> I just need... time. I will give you time, Peter Quill. I'm less certain of the others. I wouldn't want May coming around, but I suspect the assassin and the rodent will resist. Mm -hmm. This makes them a dangerous element to our cause. I must eliminate them. Wait! Why? <laughs> These are our family, man. Just give them a chance. It's a lot to process. You truly believe they will accept her promise? I, I know it. Uh, take Gamora. Her dad was Thanos. There's gonna be some stuff to work through before she can accept it. And, and Rocket. <laughs> Where to start? He's literally a walking science experiment. What Nikki, uh, the, the matriarch, is, is offering, it's, it's all new territory for him. And the wooden one? You said it yourself. He'll come around. I mean, it's Groot, man. He's our rock. Very well, Peter Quill. Good, uh, good. That's 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 great. Um, I'll, I'll let the others know. No, I will fetch her and bring her to you. How? She's like a million light years away. We have already landed on our planet. Think well, Peter Quill. When I return, she will demand your answer. Hey, Drax. We can talk about this! Great. Yo, Quill. You there? Please tell me you're not dead. Quill? Answer, will ya? <sighs> Locked. I'm here, Rocket! Oh, thanks, Lark. Peter? Rocket? Why is my door locked from the outside? Yeah. Drax may have kind of joined the church. What? Seriously? I am Groot. I know, it's, it, it's super messed up, Drax. Drax is kind of messed up. He also may have landed us on Sacrosanct to find the matriarch. But don't worry. <laughs> don't worry? Yeah, you know. Be happy. <laughs> Is that copyright safe for streaming mode there? That's your plan? What, you gotta think? A little hard to concentrate with Peter singing. I'm thinking! Ah, think somewhere else! Stop 
Oh, one second. For your information, the Lama thing finds my voice delightful. Her name's Cammy. That's it. We're locked in, but she's not. So, she's an idiot. Doesn't mean she can't help us. Can you transfer ship schematics to my tablet? Maybe get me a camera feed. Yeah, okay. Why? I want to check where Cammy is. Done. Go ahead and grab it. Okay, I see her. Play an iPad? Or sing something, anything. Why? Just do it. <sighs> this is me singing a song. I hope you like it because <laughs> oh, I don't. Wow, she hates your voice. Fuck you. It's good. She responds to singing. Maybe if we direct her to that panel near the cockpit. The emergency door controls. Yes. Just keep singing. I'll use the PA and try to lure her to chew the lock override. She chews everything. Stab me. Is this even working? La 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 la. Join a team, she said. It'll be good for you, she said. <laughs> what is this mini game? plan we could come up with. Getting me. I told him not to keep it on the ship. I told him it would chew everything. And now we gotta sing to this thing? Oh, I'll sing to it, all right. I'll sing this thing to death is what I'm gonna do. Lawless will frown, and that will bring everybody down. Don't worry. Be happy. How longer is this gonna take, Quill? I can't do it no more! I can't, and I ain't- oh, la la la. La 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 la. Listen, Cammy. I need you to listen now. <laughs> okay, come on, girl. Give it a little nibble. Uh, do what you do best, you toothy bastard. Guys! I think she's doing it! <laughs> I can't believe it worked. We're not on the sacrosanct. We're on a planet. Well, that's a flark in relief. Let's get the scud out of here before Drax comes back with his new best friend, the Kratakan matriarch. Rocket, stop. We can't just abandon Drax. Is he even still Drax? I mean, he's been converted. I know. It's just we need to find him and pull him back from the dark side. You're talking about kidnapping Drax the Destroyer. Emphasis on Destroyer. And we've come too far, seen too much awful stuff to abandon one of our friends. Drax is still our friend. That ain't our friend no more. Don't That's make right. me pull rank on this man. Draw down on him. Are you pointing your frickin' guns at me? No, no. Not yet. I just need you to understand how serious this is. 
We're not leaving. Well, Flark Quill. It's about Kratak in time you showed some Nords. Fine. I'm in. Any other objections? Nope. I'm good. I'm Groot. Good. Then let's go find our friend. Very nice. Wrap it up right there. Come back another time. And I am out.